Hello everyone, Amy Rosavi here with Prairie Paper and Ink and I have another Valentine's themed card for you guys. And I'm starting with a whole bunch of die cuts here. And my first die cut, I'm using My Favorite Things Wonky Stitched Rectangle Dynamics. And then I am using Simon Says Stamp Mini Hearts Set and then the Sending My Love die set and running those through my machine with some different colors of cardstock. I like to do all my die cutting at once just to get it all done and then get the machine out of the way. So then I also used the Simon Says Seb sending die and then the mini hearts again and then the Send My Love little mailbox again with different colors of cardstock. And the sending die I ran through three times with white cardstock and I'll get to that in a minute. And the little uh, mailbox die from the Send My Love set, it does come with its own little set of hearts, but I wanted to use the mini heart set because it had the variety of sizes, which you'll see in a bit. But before I get to that, I took um, three different colors of, or three different shades of gray with my Copic markers to just add a bit of dimension to this little mailbox. It cuts that little slit in the mailbox as well as um, embosses a little line to give a dimension. But I thought the Copics would give it even more. So I used um, C5, C2, C0, and then I used a little bit of zero at the end, a little bit of colorless blender, just to kind of blend it out and give it that bit of dimension, really simple nothing too fancy there just worked from darkest to lightest and then I set that aside and adhered all of these um, sending word die cuts together and I'm just using my uh, Ranger multimedia matte adhesive which I absolutely love especially for die cuts like this that are so finely um, detailed so getting them lined up because you've got that few seconds of wiggle room before the adhesive sets and is permanent Plus, I've said it before in videos, if it does ooze out the sides, um, it dries matte so you don't see there's no shiny residue left over. Uh, and with the fine tip applicator though, I'm able to get a much more precise application. So it's really quick and easy to adhere several die cuts together. And then I even did the little dot of the eye, which don't even know the amount of times I lost those little dots. And I think I had to recut them twice because I kept knocking them onto the floor and then couldn't find them. So got those adhered. And then I grabbed some gray cardstock and I coated it with my anti-static powder tool. And then I'm inking up um, a stamp from the Sending and Wishing set from Simon Says and stamping that with Versamark ink, so a clear sticky ink. And then I'm coating it with Ranger's um, Ultra Fine White Embossing Powder. And I'm gonna heat that with my heat tool until it's melted. And then once it's melted, let it sit for a couple seconds to cool off. And then I just rub off that anti-static powder uh, with my fingers. And then I trimmed this down with my paper trimmer. And when I grabbed my paper trimmer, I felt something on my thumb, like just a nick on my thumb, but didn't think much of it. I was just doing my thing, making this card, you know, in a groove and didn't realize it for about a minute or so that I'd actually sliced open, um, like the joint of my thumb on the other side. I was just, you know, you get in a groove and you're just wanting to get her done. And yeah, I wasn't going to even mention that, but you'll see why in a minute. So I applied some foam tape to the back of the mailbox and then cut up another piece to the little post for the mailbox and kind of get everything lined up how I want it and get the little post in place. And then I go to press the mailbox into place and that's where I pressed on it with my thumb and got blood on the cardstock and it just that's when I realized how bad it was so went and got um I was I thought about like re like getting my machine out and re-die cutting and everything and I was like I didn't want to do that so the easiest way to do that and it's the same thing with ink um I used my craft knife to slightly scrape off the cardstock and then I used a little sanding block and then an eraser to smooth it out and it's good to go. So whether it be blood or ink or whatever, <laughs> you can fix it. So yeah, that's why I've got a band-aid on because then I went and cleaned myself up and put a band-aid over the cut so I didn't destroy the rest of the card that I was working on. So got everything adhered and then decided to kind of press down. That's why I purposely didn't adhere the foam tape on the back of the mailbox right where that little slit was. I wanted to insert one of the little hearts to make it look like the hearts were coming right out of the mailbox. And I die cut them from um, two different colors of cardstock, a pink and a red, just again for some more um, dimension and whatnot. And then I arranged all these other little hearts that I die cut to come to look like they're kind of fluttering outside of the 
falling or fluttering out of the mailbox. And once I was kind of happy with how I had them organized, I just used little tiny dabs of the multimedia mat to adhere them and then did the same thing with the sentiment, just coated it with the same adhesive and lined that up on my grid mat to make sure I get this adhered straight on the card. It's got that adhered and then here adhered the little dot and then just use my scissors to cut a little flag end on the sentiment here with um, with my scissors and then added another little strip of foam tape to the back of that so that it would sit just over top of the bottom of the sentiment there. And I was going to adhere this flat to my card base, which is um, heavyweight white cardstock cut to four and a quarter by 11 inches. So then I score it at five and a half with my Teflon bone folder and really press that crease down so that the card stays, um, so that the fold is crisp. And I was gonna kind of keep it simple, but I was like, it just needed something. It was missing something. So I pulled out my Misty and this um, diagonal stripes background from Simon Says. And normally with large background stamps, I just put them on my desk face up and ink them up that way. But with this stamp, I wanted to stamp red on white and red can be finicky. And with the stripes being as detailed as they are, I wanted to make sure I got a good impression. So I pulled out, there's a foam insert in the Misty. So I pulled that out, pulled out the magnets, making sure to keep the magnets away from each other because they will... Like they attract each other like magnets and they snap together and they can break quite easily. So got everything out of it, got the foam insert out, got the stamp lined up on the cover of the Misty. And then I inked it up with MFT's uh, Red Hot Dye Ink, which needs to be, I need to re-ink that ink pad. I use it so much. And then stamped this onto the white card sack and I could see the areas where I had missed um, or like that didn't stamp as clearly as I wanted it to. So this is the perfect thing with the Misty is I was able to re-ink up the stamp a second time and then stamp it right over again without moving um, the cardstock to get an even better impression the second time around. So really, uh, I just, I love my Misty. I'm so glad I got it. So did that, made sure to clean off the stamp and put everything back in it. And then I ran this stamped piece through my die cut machine with... Um, the largest die from MFT's Blueprints One Dynamics. If I'd had straight pattern paper like this, that would have been even easier. But this is a nice way to get the perfect color to match um, my project is by stamping it. So I adhered that flat to the card with some Tombow Mono Multi. And then this little die cut panel that I'd created, the little scene I'd created, um, I popped that up with some foam tape for some extra dimension. And I just love how the stripes play off with the uh, mailbox and everything, it just worked. <laughs> and then on the inside of the card, I used the wishing die cut. There is a stamp in the set that I could have used, but I just love, I love these dies. They are just, the detail of them and the font is so nice. So I die cut that from the same blue cardstock I used on the front of the card. So die cut that and then stamped the coordinating sentiment with um, steel gray ink, which the ink is the same color as the gray that I used on the front of the card. And um, inked up the sentiment, stamped that, and then adhered the die cut word with the same Tombow Mono Multi, and then just squeezed little tiny dots of the adhesive above each eye there. And I just used my fingers to pick up the little die cut dots of the eyes. And I still had several hearts left over from all the die cutting I did in the beginning. So I just adhered those on the inside of the card as well, just to completely finish it off. And then as a final touch, I don't always do this, but always, it just completes the set when I do think ahead like this. I pulled out an envelope and I have the sending and wishing um, set from Simon Says here and pulled out several stamps from the set. And I inked up um, the little dotted stamp with MFT's, I think this is blue, yes, Blue Breeze ink, which is very pale blue ink. Same color as the cardstock used in the card. And then I inked up the little Happy Mail stamp and then there was little hearts in the set. So I inked up those with the same colors of ink as the die cut hearts I used, which was MFT's Cotton Candy and Red Hot dye inks and just stamped those as well to create a little um, thing on the card. And then this final little bit was this big Thinking of You stamp that I just stamped on the back of it with the blue ink and that's all there was to it. So I've got this completely coordinating fun little set. And as always, there will be a link below the video to my blog post. There will also be links to all the supplies I use. So if any of that interests you, you can check out the description box below my video. 
um, check out my blog post for all that. There'll be links to various sources for you guys to check out. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs up in my videos. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.